Hey guys, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom. As always, I'm DemonFriend93, and finally, I did it. Now, I'm not sure about this, because I did have the sudden Kaiba, because every single thing that I saw of somebody getting this monster had Kaiba, and I couldn't remember if I got him with Kaiba or not, so it might actually be that you have to be there with Kaiba, because it, it didn't take me long once I put Kaiba out here, but before that, I've been playing this like five or six times after the last you saw. So, hello, you there. Oh, what? Who are you? Oh, thank goodness, finally someone I can talk to. I am, well, how can I say this, from another planet. My name is, um, well, just call me Moishka. I came to Earth to extend the hand of friendship, but I had some trouble with my spaceship and somehow ended up trapped in this primitive computer program. So you're saying that you're not just another game character? That's correct. I am like you. How do you say my existence is real? Although this place isn't too bad, I do have an important mission to carry out. I cannot stay here forever. I must find a way out. That being the case, I thought to offer my help to you. Your help? Yes, you are what they call a marshal in this world, are you not? I appear to be classified as some kind of monster. So by fighting for you, I'd actually be working on a way out of this world. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. What do you say? How do you know that saying, you stupid alien? All right, let's give it a try. Moisture creature has joined my army. Took like six hours, for fuck's sake. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, it was Kaiba that got him. I mean, we got bones to 45. I mean, his monsters up to 45. Pegasus was pretty close. Uh, Labyrinth Thriller, not so much. Norweevil. Rex got done, and I was almost done with Mokuba. I had like. Two more fights with Mokuba and we would have gotten it. So who do you want to face off against Mr. Neffel here? Anything interesting? Holy crap, he's got all the blue medicines. Okay. So we need something to kill quick. Or something that could just paralyze. Go ahead, Bones. My god, that took forever. I had to make sure that I wasn't something, some kind of stupid. I had to sit there and go, wait a second. I, like, it took forever. I had to sit there and go, am I make sure that this is north, this is east, south, and west? It's like, I, I am correct in that, right? I'm not some kind of idiot that forgot my directions? And it's like, no, yeah, that's right, it's southeast. So I kept sending guys in southeast, and the nobody showed up for the entire time. And then I'd patrol them around every once in a while and didn't get anything. And it's like finally I looked up a video and somebody else had put Kaiba right here. And so I matched the video as much best I could and then left Kaiba there and then brought the other guys around and it turns out it came to Kaiba. So maybe it is a Kaiba exclusive that you have to be as Kaiba can't have you know, bones, or since, well, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe Mokuba would work, too. I don't know. It's interesting, though, that it was that way. I guess I should have tried Kaiba first. Jeez. <laughs> My hatred for using Kaiba only for things actually led to a problem. Interesting. So, we're just going to hopefully get Bones over here at the exact time after one of them has left or before one of them gets out, right? He's not gonna hit it right as somebody spawns in, right? Oh god, get out, get out, get out. Go ahead, you, you go first. There you go, okay. Oh crap, Mokuba. Well, it's time to continue your training, Mokuba. So, good news. Um, I've just... This is the first video I have recorded since the uh, announcement that Nintendo is now allowing people to play their games without being a part of their partner program. 
Which means that I could, if I wanted to, actually start really guarding twice. Chase, I could actually start playing licensed Nintendo games on the channel. Because I did grow up with some Nintendo systems. I mean, I grew up with the GameCube, obviously. And I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! here on the GameCube, but I haven't actually played any Nintendo titles, right? Like, I haven't played any of the Zeldas on the channel. I've played them in, in my free time and personally, and it's like, oh, man. I could actually start playing those. I like it. But just goes to show how long it takes Nintendo to to get with the times, you know. How long has every other game developer been like, oh yes, please, go ahead, play our games on your channel. And Nintendo has taken like five years longer to get on board with it. Just, just saying, you know. Hey, I'm perfect to 45. Good job. Good job. Mokuba is done training. Perfect timing, because Bones is about to kick their ass. Ah! We're here! Yes. Yes, we are. And we're going to kill you. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Not even a fireball. Da, 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 Poor paralyzed cannon the sword mistress that she can't use her blue medicines. It's perfect. And then we have the neck hunter and the guardian of the fortress. Winged guardian of the fortress number one or something like that. It's just weird names for things. I eh, just kill her just to make sure. All right. So, maybe once we, uh, beat Yu-Gi-Oh here, I might have to throw in a Nintendo game into the mix on Throwback Thursdays instead of our two choices before were, um, The Matrix and The Lord of the Rings, I think. So, yeah. Either one of those, I mean, add any Nintendo, like, add any of the Zelda games, or not really any of the Mario games, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest Mario fan. Mario, Jumpman Mario. But it opens the door to start playing some Nintendo games. But I am also a bit hesitant on it because Nintendo is Nintendo and they have their guidelines that they have put out for it. And I kind of want to hold off until, you know, we start seeing what content creators like me are doing with the, the Nintendo games, and then, you know, they go, No, you can't swear in a single one of our video, any video you put up, if that's a part of their guide. I know it's not a part of their guidelines, because I looked at it, but they have the whole subject to, to uh, any video at all with their games is subject to them taking down if they just feel like it. Full scale offensive. Lovely. So... That could be a problem that would not be something I like. Because I can't help but swear every other goddamn word. Well, sentence. Isolated and battle-weary, it was only supposed to be a matter of time before the Northern Army collapsed. But Sebekel and Nekubetos, two tough Imperial generals that I have never heard of before now, have held Kaiba at bay by sheer will alone. An irritated Kaiba decides to have another unit attack from the sea and break the enemy once and for all. His plan is to hit the enemy hard with a blitz attack before time runs out. Okay, but have we even had anybody on the island of Vaxi? Like, did, did Kaiba's 
forces at any point in this campaign take Vaxi Island? Because that's where Yugi was. Not Kaiba. Kaiba was at the Empire. I don't know about this. But what I do know is get the fuck out of here, Millennium Golem. Thanks for playing. You're gone. Where, where, where is my moist, moisture creature? What a lovely name. Ah, god damn it, I gotta put somebody else. Give me your silver bow and arrow too, thank you. Moisture creature. Delicious. All right. He's got 2,100 uh, health, 3,300 attack, 2,900 defense, and one star chip. One, one action point. But with Kaiba's two action points, that should give him more, right? Right? That should be a thing. Right? <laughs> so, we're gonna move straight into the full... Uh, whatever it was called. Offensive. General Nekibotos. Ne 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 the enemy is attacking from the sea. What? Ha ha ha, time's up. Kaiba, you traitorous little bug. I may go down, but I'm taking you with me. Wait a second, which one of you is the general? I don't understand. Why are you talking when it should be the red guy? Kaiba's force has taken control of Gigan Sip. Kaiba's team is wiped out. Van Lova falls to the enemy. Alrighty then. It's time to start sending people around. Pegasus, go there. Uh, Rex, why don't you head out that way? And Mokuba, go to that one. And who do we want to hold control over this spot? Let's have the Labyrinth Ruler be the guy. And these guys have no items, and no items, and no items, and no items. But I believe that these assholes... Oh, thank God, they don't have their ability yet. Uh-oh, are any of them turning? No, nope, they're all still headed straight out that way. Good! Thank God. Mokuba, head out over this way. Come on, you cowards! I'll show you how a true warrior faces an enemy. Okay, you do that. I mean, I know he's talking to his men, but still. Oh, crap. I completely, I keep forgetting about this. See, I'm at this point in my finale playthrough, and I have just recently, I think, gotten Labyrinth Ruler to level 90. No, I don't remember. But yeah, he's much better in that. <laughs> but right now, he's got only two stars. I should have leveled him up last time. Why did I level up Mokuba and fucking Rex Raptor? These are like the worst options to level up. And Bones, oh, he's the best option to level up. He, who, who, what am I kidding? Or who am I kidding? But this would have been a great one to level up to get him to not suck. And honestly, I should open up with Kaiba so that Kaiba can level up Moisture Creature. The thing that I spent six hours fucking working to get. But nope. I'm just gonna keep trying. Labyrinth Ruler will level up eventually, right? So glad I'm getting like five turns in a row. That's great. It sucks that he's got five turns in a row now. With only one interruption from my guys, so hopefully they don't kill me. Good, you're still an idiot. Alright. Nope. Wait. Did he guard or wait? I wasn't paying attention. It went by too fast. That one's dead. Your last move. And it doesn't even matter. 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead and damage him all you want, but still. He'll just get your ass handed to you when we come back into the battle. Just no stars, huh? You guys leveled up, great, but no, no, no extra stars. No action point added. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Hold on, heal up. Uh, Kaiba! Why don't you try? With your moisture creature. How is the moisture creature an alien? I don't think they understand anything of this game. Like, level 5 magic and sterilize beam. What does sterilize beam do? The enemy is unable to dodge. Sweet! Sterilize him! That is a very rainbow colored sterilizing beam. Congratulations, no more kids for that, sea serpent. And that was his only attack, by the way, for those who didn't catch that. <laughs> that was literally all of his moves, was that one shot. And now I have to have everybody else work up their way. Yep. So it's gonna take a while for Moisture Creature to get good. He's at level two, three. Actually, that's right, he has to get to be the same color that Kaiba is in order to actually start using Kaiba's action points. So while Kaiba has three action points here, he's got the bluish color versus, oh, that's pretty close actually. It shouldn't take too long, right? Kaiba, you can take all these guys out, right? All four of them. I hope you can. Because you're on deck. All hands on deck, and Kaiba's the one to teach these assholes what happens when you mess with the resistance. We sterilize all of our enemies. I have a feeling that I made my <laughs> my my uh, made my job more difficult by putting Moisture Creature on my team. It's like well, at least with Millennium Golem, I had a couple actions to do, but you know, Moisture Creature, he's get one. He gets one, so it's like I can either choose to heal up with him since he's got red medicine, or I could choose to attack with him because he's got one attack. And if I get screwed over by one, and, um... Uh, yeah. Hard mode. My turn, my turn, my turn? No, no, please, my turn. Let me have a turn. Let me have a turn before you kill Hitatsume Giant, please. Ah, you fucking prick. Make me have to use my Monster Reborn. Waste a goddamn action on you. Yeah, you didn't realize he had that, did you? You idiots. Now they're all trying to attack him. Can I ever get a turn here? You just went. Why do you get to go again? It doesn't matter. You fucking missed because you're a moron. But still, you shouldn't get two fucking turns in a row. It's bullshit. I know there was something in between the two of them, but... We go in rounds. You get... Your three monsters to get turns, my three monsters get turns. Your three monsters get turns, my three monsters get turns. You don't get 17 turns in a row. It's just bullshit. He's only got one action left. Who's he choosing to fire at? Hitatsume Giant. Still not enough to beat him. If I crit, I kill your red sea serpent snake thing, giant, giant red sea snake. Right? That was it called. Hey, moisture keys level six. Good job. And the other dude got both stars up. Okay, good. Heal. For fuck's sake, heal. I didn't check the trader. What do we got? Crap. 
We have literal crap. Just watch Moisture Creature level up. He's already at level 11. He's already doing better than the goddamn Millennium Golem was. Level Millennium Golem was only at level 7. Oh, God, you're right here. Hi. How you? How you doing? Look at Moisture Creature. He's even got a laser gun. Which, by the way, Moisture Creature looks nothing like Moisture Creature in the card game. Because I don't know why it's called Moisture Creature. Other than, you know, you when when you see like a fog or like a mist, you sit there and you go, Ah, oh, yeah, it's kind of moist in the air, right? And that's basically what the card moisture creature looks like. I've always thought it looked like a ball of gas, like a, a cloud of fog with two, eye, two yellow eyes. And then it looked like it's holding like a spatula and a frying pan in each quote-unquote hand. And then like a chef's hat on its head. It's just off the top of my head the memory of me of looking at the moisture creature. But it doesn't look anything like that. It looks like an actual spaceman. And he's got a laser gun. So, I don't know. Let me just, let me just look up moisture creature again. Hold on. Where Where's my... Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, got my phone in front of me. Oh, crap. Goddamn dual links is in a stupid fucking... Why are you always got it having a maintenance notice when I try and do a video where I'm trying to show something off from the dual links? I mean, I'm not showing it off in video, but you know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a ball of gas. Oh, it does have a laser gun, kind of like a hair dryer. And, um. Is that a fucking parasail on its other hand? It's got a folded up umbrella. And then there's like a. a white cone on the top of its head. So I guess it's kind of similar to that. But it's literally just a ball of gas. It doesn't have legs and arms like this moisture creature does. It's got 2,800 attack and 2,900 defense. If you tribute this monster by tributing three monsters on the field, destroy all spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. That's some Yu-Gi-Oh! card game trivia knowledge for you there. I mean, not trivia knowledge, it's more trivia reading off of my phone. But, yeah, the, the little cone at the top of its head kind of resembles a chef's hat to me. So I always thought Moisture Creature was just, you know, an alien chef or something. But now I, now I can see that thing in its hand being a laser gun, but the other thing is clearly just a fucking parasail. Whereas this one doesn't have anything else in its hand. It literally just has the laser gun. Because here he goes, he fires it. So I don't know what, why he doesn't have his parasail. Good job, Moisture Creature, though. On uh, single-handedly killing that thing. Great job. And you're dead. Congratulations. Goodbye. Hey, look, Kaiba's at the same level as Moisture Creature. Oh, never mind. Moisture creature out level Kaiba. I don't know. It should be over here somewhere. Yet again. As long as I know my goddamn directions. Oh, hey, there we go. We're being attacked by roaming monsters. Good job, Mokuba. Kick its ass. Oh, wait. All of their asses. Oh my god, there's so many things. Spike Seedra, Sea King Dragon, and Giant Red Sea Snake. And why are they so fucking powerful? And why is it that once I'm done getting them here, that they're going to be level 1 when I get them? They should totally be level 69, the level that they're at right now. I know that we're getting these guys for absolutely no purpose. I never have used these guys. Well, I have. Only to get them to level 99. But, <clears throat> other than that, I don't use them. Because only Mako gets fishy freaks like these. And there are much better fish in the sea to give to Mako than these three.
See, you fucked up in the fact that you're facing Mokuba. When I run out of uh, uh, action points, for the most part, I can fuse together two of my guys and get six more actions. There is no way you can out battle me. Unless you kill me. But I don't think you will. Because you're not focus firing. So who do we want to send to go kill the general? I don't know. It's a mystery. Good job. That's one down, two to go. Think we can kill all three? Because I do. Oh, he guarded. I didn't realize. Bastard. You've weakened the other two monsters, but no, go ahead and fight the new one that hasn't taken any damage yet. You fucking prick! Stop guarding! I can't kill all three of you if you guard every fucking turn! You worthless piece of shit! And he's gonna wait now! Spike Seedra is the worst piece of shit in this game right now. My god. And you missed. Good job, Burfmet. It's your last chance to battery blast. Yeah, that's a problem. Motherfucker. Well, it's a good thing you're an idiot. My turn now. Oh, look. I've got this thing called the polymerization. Get bent, you piece of shit. I forgot that it has a battery blast as its special move that it can attack all three of us at once. And I didn't think about it, because it's a roaming monster. Why would it stop using battery blast, you bastard? I didn't think about it. It's a roaming monster. I, why would it have the abilities, but it, it, it's level 69, so yeah, it, it has the abilities that it unlocks when it gets higher levels. So, what did I say? I told you I was going to kill all three of you. And guess what? I did with four actions to spare. You lose. Join my army and never see the light of day again. Seeking Dragon has joined your army. Giant Red Sea Snake has joined your army. And a plate of sushi that it will be slaughtered immediately has joined my army. If only I could just kill these things myself. Be like, no, fuck you. You're a pain in the ass. Get out and leave my... You're not joining the rebels. Screw you. You don't get a chance to. But no, I have to have it join me. Can Pegasus make it before the five minutes? I think he can. He's done it. Come get me, I won't go quietly. No, but you will go, and that's what matters. Is that you know that you are inevitably going to die here. Who does the most damage on your team? 34, 32, 25, okay, Axe Raider it is. Left to right, murder them. Come on, Pegasus, prove your worth. I think Pegasus is one of those few marshals that I, that I never mess around with his formula, like his formula of what monsters he has, right? Like they just fit. When I when I think Pegasus and I look at these monsters, I go, yeah, that works. There are no better monsters in this game to get Pegasus for his character. If I wanted to be strategic and mid-max everything where it's like, well, I've got the best team that can do the most damage and they each have a combo attack with another monster. Like if I had the Magician of Black Chaos on top of a Dark Magician and a Dark Magician Girl as my party. But that's no fun. Pegasus would never use that. I mean, sure, it's fun to, to go through and destroy things. And in fact, I... When I was grinding to get, uh, oh god, I can't believe I can't believe I forgot his name. It's the the stupid guy from the the Empire that just recently left. Um, Marthus. 
or Mathis or something like that. Whatever his fucking name is. The guy that's only in the game and not actually in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. But Marthus, when I was trying to get him to level 99 in my finale playthrough, I just equipped him with that exact army of Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and Magician Black Cass, and just hit, hit Z over and over and over and over again, and slaughtered everything. It worked, it was boring, and I mean, it leveled him up eventually. It was the quickest way to get through fights, but it wasn't really fun. After a time, it got really repetitive and just, like I said, boring. So, I like to play the strategy of playing monsters that the characters would actually use. And there are none better than the ones that he's got right now. Let's one, or maybe, if I went with non tune versions, maybe the Gemini Elf Sisters. Kick and Sip was liber liberated. And there was no other thing said about that. I guess. There was, there was no rejoicing. There was nothing at all. Crucial battle! After the defeat of the Northern Army, the Resistance quickly in increased its influence in the North. And yet we're heading South. It soon had control over all of the North and was steadily making its way to the strategic Enno Fortress. To avoid mixing with the Northern Resistance, Kaiba returns to his base in the east to attack Nanbur Castle. The Emperor leads his troops into battle at Nanbur. Kaiba finds that he may be old, but the Emperor is no pushover. So now, we're having a face-off with the Emperor. That's gonna be interesting. You know, the last time in a campaign that somebody had a face-off with the Emperor, he got erased by Scott. I wonder what's gonna happen this time. But that will have to do it for us today, guys. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to keep up to date with all my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook to become part of the conversation, also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm DemonFire93. And I'll see you guys next time.